Hello, my name is Kelly from Kelly's Tutoring and in today's video we're going to look at how you can support your child if they have a stammer at home. Now with COVID-19 lots of teaching and learning is taking place online via Zoom, Skype, Google Teams. Even extracurricular activities are transitioning from in person to online. Now for most people being in front of a camera is quite a daunting experience people become increasingly self-conscious. Now, if you have a stammer, this may be exasperated. Anxiety may increase. So how can you support your child so that they feel comfortable and confident in front of a camera so that they can communicate and participate in learning? Well, lots of positive reinforcement and encouragement. Perhaps you can encourage them to use these online tools to communicate with friends and relatives. So that way then they feel actually they can do it and they become familiar with the features of the online domain and so feel comfortable utilizing it. Having a conversation with your child's school, teachers, tutors, so that you remind them of your child's needs and that way then they can facilitate it in the lessons. So for example, teachers can give extra thinking time. So they ask a question and allow children to think about it before answering it, rather than just putting them on the spot. That way your child will have more time to formulate an answer in their minds. And so it might help to ease the pressure. Teachers may also want to encourage them to use the chat boxes. A lot of these online platforms have chat box features um, they also have things like raising a hand or using emojis and so that way then your child can then communicate with their teachers without having to you know solely rely on you know speaking and doing this it may help your child to feel like they can communicate and they don't have to worry about you know not being able to speak right away because one of the advantages of in-person communication is we can use our hands, facial expressions, body language, and online, these, can, these cues can be missed. And it's not so easy to signal them depending on what you know, technology you're using or even if there is you know, video sharing. Um, so all these factors can affect how we communicate and so by using the tools such as chat boxes or emojis or the hands up raising hands and clapping features that are on these online platforms these online you know communication tools it can help your your child then to communicate more freely and with greater ease so again reminding the teachers of your child's needs and reminding your children of these features can help them to create a system that works for them and that is really tailored for them too. Having a conversation with other parents in your child's class is also great because then those parents can have conversations with their own children about inclusivity and about how they need to respect people with differences and how actually we're all different and all unique. And then finally, just remembering to be patient with your child. It can be tempting to want to help your child by completing their sentences or filling in the gaps for them or rushing them. But actually, it's a hindrance because your child knows exactly what they want to say. They may not be able to get it out. And so the best thing you can do for them is to be patient, relaxed, allow them to take their time, wait and listen. Listening is the key, rather than making them feel rushed and filling in the gaps, because that can make them feel inadequate and actually like you're underestimating them. So give them good eye contact as well. And in doing that, you help to nurture your child and give them the confidence that they need so that they can articulate themselves. And in fact, there are many famous examples of people with stammers. Um, for example, Elvis Presley, who is a, a hero of mine, had a stammer. And again, if you share these real life examples with your children, it can help them to see, well, actually, 
just because I have a stammer doesn't mean I can't fulfill my dreams, doesn't mean I can't succeed in my education. In fact, lots of actors and musicians have stammers. Ed Sheeran, for example, Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran, sorry, <laughs> I'm very bad at pronunciation of names, but Ed Sheeran, um, yeah, Ed Sheeran, he has a stammer and he is one of the most um, perhaps talented singers today. And so by sharing those stories with your children, it can help them to bolster their self-confidence and as well get them to see, well, actually, if they can do it, I can do it too. They have an example, a role model. So to support your child if they have a stammer with online learning, remember, get them familiar with the features of the online platform so that they feel confident. Speak with their teachers to remind them of your child's needs so that they can make sure that they have extra thinking time so that they can use some of the non-speaking tools such as the chat boxes, raising hands, the emojis so that they can still communicate. Talk to other parents so that they can have that conversation with their own children so that they know how to make your child feel included and they know how to facilitate communication with your child. And finally, being patient and listening with a keen eye, i.e. eye contact with your child, paying them attention without making them feel rushed, without exhibiting body language that might make them feel like you want them to hurry up or that you want to jump in so that they can just be themselves. Please, if you have any questions, get in touch. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.